Fadi Abu Salah, a Palestinian double amputee killed by Israeli forces, is mourned during his funeral in Qayyan Yunus, southern Gaza, on 14 May. Ashraf Amra APA images Israeli occupation forces killed 58 Palestinians in Gaza on Monday as tens of thousands protested along the eastern perimeter of the territory. Monday's death toll is likely to climb higher as 70 were in critical condition and Gaza hospitals struggled to triage the staggering number of casualties. The health ministry reported nearly 2,800 injuries, almost half of them by live fire, held on the eve of Nakba Day when Palestinians commemorate the ethnic cleansing of their homeland before, during and after the establishment of the State of Israel in May 1948, the demonstrations may have been the biggest protest ever held in the territory. Tens of thousands of hashtag Palestinians took to the hashtag Gaza, hashtag Israeli fence in the biggest massive protest in the history of Gaza. Our producer in Gaza says more than 80,000 participated in the protest. Hashtag Great Return March Pick. Twitter. Com slash Gusomen WQV, Nasrata, at Nasarati 5. May 14, 2018. Monday marked the largest number of casualties in a single day in Gaza since Israel's massive military assault that claimed more than 2,200 Palestinian lives. In the summer of 2014, and was said to be the largest number of protester fatalities in a single day in the territory since the first intifada that began 30 years ago. 52 hashtag Palestinians killed and more than 2,400 injured by hashtag Israeli army snipers in hashtag Gaza, this the biggest single causality in one day in the history of Palestinian protest, since the first Pal Intifada in 1987 according to Palestinian Health Ministry pic.twitter.com slash pi lk3 os3 al, Nasrata, at Nasrata 5. May 14, 2018 protests are expected to continue on Tuesday. Monday's protests were held under the banner of the Great March of Return demonstrations, launched on 30 March, when Palestinians mark Land Day. The six-week protest was originally planned to culminate around Nakba Day. Nearly 100 Palestinians, including 12 children, have been killed by Israeli forces during Great March of Return protests since 30 March. While American officials and Israeli leaders celebrated the opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, in violation of international law, occupation army snipers gunned down children, paramedics and journalists and its air force hit multiple sites across Gaza on Monday. Five boys and a girl were among those slain. Breaking. Our initial investigations confirm Israeli forces killed at least six Palestinian children today in Gaza, including five boys and one girl. Ages range from 13 to 17 years old. Follow for names and details. Hashtag Gaza Return March Hashtag Embassy Move Pick. Twitter. Com slash zero axnam EMS. Defense for Children. Edsa Palestine. May 14, 2018. Additionally, the health ministry reported that an eight month old baby died as a result of gas inhalation. The Palestinian human rights group Al Metzen reported that 42 of those killed were participating in peaceful protests when they were injured on Monday. Paramedic Musa Jaber Abu Hussein was among those killed. Hash underscore underscore hashtag Nakba 70 number 70 hash underscore pick dot twitter dot com slash x3 e9 x rue at Kusni. May 14, 2018 – 15 Palestinians, including two children, were killed when Israeli forces fired artillery shells and opened fire at a crowd of civilians east of Jabalia in the northern Gaza Strip, according to al Metzin. Israel claimed that its forces killed three militants attempting to place explosives near the Gaza-Israel boundary fence near the Rafa crossing with Egypt. United Nations humanitarian coordinator Jamie McGoldrick stated that doctors at Al-Shifa, Gaza's largest hospital, are overwhelmed, dealing with hundreds of cases of injured, including women and children, they are stretched to the limit and are running out of essential medical supplies. He added that particularly worrying is that public hospitals in Gaza have less than a week of fuel reserves to continue their operations. Shifa Hospital alone is now trying to manage some 400 wounded. This cannot continue. Health system in hashtag Gaza is on the verge of collapse. Pick.twitter.com slash QMWV. ICRC in Israel and OT, at ICRC underscore islet. May 14, 2018 Gaza's health ministry put out an urgent call for blood donations to save the lives of those wounded. On Monday, 
The Israeli military reported its first injury since the Great March of Return protests began. A soldier was lightly wounded and taken to hospital for treatment, the first Israeli casualty resulting from the protests, according to the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Israeli forces have injured nearly 13,000 Palestinians during the Great March of Return protests, and some 6,800 injuries have required hospitalization more than half of them caused by live ammunition. Jason Cohn, the U.S. Director of Doctors Without Borders, stated on Friday that even though there is not a war in Gaza, the injuries sustained by our patients are terribly similar to what we see in conflict zones, with fist-size exit, wounds and bone, pulverized into dust. Gaza's health ministry has called on Egypt to provide its hospitals with drugs and emergency medical supplies and to allow for the transfer of patients requiring specialized treatment unavailable in the Strip. Gaza-based writer and scholar Rafat al who was present at Monday's protests, told the Electronic Intifada podcast that every single minute, you would hear a shot here or there, and then someone would fall down. Hashtag Nakba 70 Palestinian freedom marches in Gaza burn tires to prevent Israeli snipers from slaughtering unarmed protesters. Hashtag Great Return March Pick. Twitter.com slash Ixrand5. Hashtag Great Return March. At this is Gaza. May 14, 2018. I was two meters away from this elderly man. He was standing by amongst the journalists. He was just standing while Palestinian. Israeli snipers hit him in his foot. Never seen an old man this terrified. Hashtag Gaza hashtag Nakba 70 hashtag Great Return March Pick. Twitter.com slash Lotxzoa 1 CL. Hashtag Great Return March. At this is Gaza. May 14, 2018. Ten journalists were injured on Monday in what Hal Metzen observed was an escalation of the Israeli military's targeted attacks on members of the press covering the Great March of Return protests. Photojournalist Yasik whose work has frequently appeared on the electronic intifada, was critically injured. Kut had taken an iconic photo of a protester using a table tennis paddle to hit back a gas canister during a demonstration earlier in the month. Hash underscore underscore, pick dot twitter dot com slash q fort cl and jaya, yes a fatty k, at yes a k 84, May 4, 2018 another journalist, Motasem Dalil was reportedly fighting for his life after being shot by the Israeli army while covering the protests on Friday. Israeli occupation achieved its promise and brought me down. Two left bullets one from the back to the chest and the other over the abdomen. Alhamdulillah, I am okay. Pick.twitter.com slash yugosug 6 us Motesa Medalo, at Abu Jamar Gaza, May 11, 2018 in hashtag Gaza Today. Israel Defense Forces shot at least seven Palestinian journalists with live rounds. Since March 30th, hashtag IDF soldiers have shot at least 22 journalists with live rounds. At least two journalists, Yasser Murtaja and Ahmed Abu Hussein, have been killed by hashtag IDF fire. CPJ Mena, at Jmina. May 14, 2018 Al Jazeera journalist Wa El Dadu holds up the bullet shrapnel that struck him on the arm east of Gaza City pick. Twitter.com slash XHD9 Roifk, Joe, at Joe Dyke. May 14, 2018 The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights condemned the shocking killing of dozens in Gaza, calling for those responsible for outrageous human rights violations to be held to account. Shocking killing of dozens, injury of hundreds by Israeli live fire in hashtag Gaza must stop now. The right to life must be respected. Those responsible for outrageous human rights violations must be held to account. The international community needs to ensure justice for victims. Hashtag Zaid, pick.twitter.com slash HBB 7825 SP8, UN Human Rights, at UN Human Rights. May 14, 2018 The dissonant images of U.S. and Israeli officials celebrating the opening of the Jerusalem Embassy and of Palestinians being subjected to brutal violence in Gaza drew the scorn of many on social media. Ivanka Trump is still all smiles at the new U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem even though Israeli snipers killed 52 Palestinians at Gaza border protests. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot go slash qfq2 kqhk pick dot twitter dot com slash msoa5 yo soe, Kenneth Roth, at Ken Roth, May 14, 2018 celebrating the U.S. Embassy opening in occupied Jerusalem.
precisely while IDF troops are murdering scores of innocent, unarmed Palestinians in Gaza, the appalling juxtaposition of these two jarring events, unfolding in synchronicity, screams total disregard for human suffering. Pick.twitter.com slash Jayoksai, Rula Jibril, at Rula Jibril. May 14, 2018 These split screens showing the smiling faces inside the U.S. Embassy opening in Jerusalem and the Palestinian protesters being fired upon by Israeli forces are sickening. Pick.twitter.com slash 5 guzu 0 s Carolino, at Avia Wonk. May 14, 2018 Washington blamed Palestinians for their own deaths while President Donald Trump, whose daughter and son-in-law presided over the Jerusalem Embassy opening congratulated Israel on what he called its big day. Big day for Israel. Congratulations, Donald J. Trump. At real Donald Trump. May 14, 2018 The responsibility for these tragic deaths rests squarely with Hamas, Deputy White House Press Secretary Raj Shah stated during a press briefing on Monday, Hamas is intentionally and cynically provoking this response and, Israel has the right to defend itself. Reporter, if it's only Palestinians being killed, shouldn't Israel shoulder part of the blame? White House spokes, we believe that Hamas is responsible https colon slash slash t dot co slash tar zero dqwslj, Maureen Murphy, at Maureen Claren, May 14, 2018 q, are you saying it's the White House's position that Israel can kill at will? Raj Shah. I'm saying we believe that Hamas as an organization is engaged in cynical action that's leading to these deaths. Pick.twitter.com slash guts 30 kmw, Carolino, at Avia Wonk. May 14, 2018 The White House statement echoed Israeli government talking points, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu insisting on Monday that Hamas clearly says its intentions are to destroy Israel and sends thousands to break through the border for that end. We will continue to act with resolve to defend our sovereignty and our citizens. Israel's Public Security Minister Gilad Erdan, whose portfolio includes sabotaging the global boycott, divestment and sanctions movement in support of Palestinian rights, blamed Hamas leadership and what he called its cynical and malicious use of bloodshed. He downplayed the mounting Gaza protest death toll, stating that it doesn't indicate anything, just as the number of Nazis who died in the world war doesn't make Nazism something you can explain or understand, according to Haaretz. The European Union meanwhile drew false parity between unarmed civilians protesting in Gaza and the heavily armed forces maintaining an 11-year blockade and half-century-long military occupation of the territory. We are calling for restraint on both sides following the deaths of dozens of Palestinian protesters, including children, from Israeli fire today, during ongoing mass protests near the Gaza fence against the transfer of the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem https colon slash slash t dot co slash 2 svhvkjljf EU in Israel, at you in Israel, May 14, 2018 South Africa, by contrast, withdrew its ambassador from Israel condemning in the strongest terms possible the violence against Palestinians in Gaza. Turkey withdrew its envoys from both Israel and the U.S. in protest of the move of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Palestinian protesters take cover from Israel fire during a mass demonstration east of Khan Yunis, southern Gaza, on 14 May. Ashraf Amra APA images for Palestinian human rights groups on Monday called on the UN Security Council to convene an emergency session to address Israel's violence in Gaza and demand that Israel immediately lift its closure and blockade. The groups called on the Security Council to implement all options to protect Palestinian civilians and establish an independent and impartial investigation into Israel's use of lethal force against Great March of Return protesters. The Israeli rights group Tselem stated that the fact that live gunfire is once again the sole measure that the Israeli military is using in the field evinces appalling indifference towards human life on the part of senior Israeli government and military officials. Selim reiterated its call on soldiers to refuse to comply with these manifestly unlawful open fire orders. According to Israeli media, soldiers are ordered to prevent demonstrators from crossing into Israel at any price, including use of live fire. If any Palestinians do manage to cross the boundary, Haaretz reported, the orders are to shoot directly at them with intent to hit, to prevent them from getting into these communities. Sarah Leah Whitson of Human Rights Watch stated that Israel's open fire policies resulted in a bloodbath that anyone could have foreseen. Breaking, 
At HRW reacts to Israel's gunning down of dozens of Palestinian protesters in Gaza today. Pick.twitter.com slash jm5gmig0vk, Omar Shakir, at Omar Shakir. May 14, 2018 On Monday morning the military dropped leaflets on Gaza warning Palestinians that they risked death by participating in the protests. Al Metzen reported that the military had flattened sand dunes built up by demonstrators to provide cover from Israeli fire indicating an assumed intention on the part of the military to improve visibility for the purpose of targeting protesters. The rights group also reported that early Monday morning the military used drones to firebomb medical field tents. One day earlier Israel denied a team of doctors from the West Bank entry to Gaza. Two-thirds of Gaza's population of two million Palestinians are refugees from the lands on which the state of Israel was declared in 1948. Israel has long prevented Palestinian refugees from returning to their lands and homes because they are not Jewish. They call it the hashtag Great Return March because, as this map from at Visualizing Pool shows, their homes are literally walking distance from the prison that is Gaza. Pick.twitter.com slash liadia one xi Muhammad al Safin, at Mal Safin, May 14, 2018 Our coordinator in Gaza, for us Palestinians, the Nakba isn't just a crime of the past. It never ended. My grandparents were violently expelled from their village and forced to live as refugees. Their beautiful village is so close I can almost see it, but I can't reach it. Hashtag Narkba 70 pictwittercom slash Xrisk9, Beads Movement. At Beads Movement, May 14, 2018 Hundreds of Palestinians are marching towards the borders. Hashtag Narkba 70 Hashtag Great Return March pictwittercom slash 3 Asksonbsf. Nor Al Yakubi. At Nur Al Yakubi, May 14, 2018, we're going to march today in the biggest wave of hashtag Great Return March. We'll reach the separation fence that separate us from our homes from which we were displaced. We'll try to remove it and show the world that we'll never forget about our rights. Hash Narkba 70 pictwittercom slash Sofumtsi. Muhammad Karim, at Vic Tupau. May 14, 2018, tags.